Welcome back to our channel everyone, again with you Omar from Brownsburg Motorsports. Today we have a 2013 uh, Land Rover Range Rover with a 5.0 supercharged engine in it. And we got three codes that are permanent. First code is P2119, uh, throttle actuator control, throttle body range performance. Uh, all three codes basically uh, points to the throttle body. One of them says uh, throttle actuator control system idle position lot learned, which we have already tried doing that with a scanner but I wouldn't, uh, uh, I wouldn't relearn. And then the last code is throttle actuator controller performance of inter internal control module. So three codes, P2119, P061F-00, P2176-52. And uh, the fix for that today will be replacing the uh, throttle body, which we're gonna show you uh, in the next step. So let's jump straight to it. All right, so the first thing we do uh, always before uh, uh, basically uh, touching any electronic components or disconnecting any connectors, we have to disconnect the battery. So let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, so the battery on these cars is located right underneath the uh, spare tire. I lifted the cover, hooked it up to the top, as you see over there. It's got that red uh, uh, hook over there, just to hook it up. And now I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, spare tire and get to the battery disconnected. So first, this was screwed in. I just unscrewed it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, spare tire. Okay, this way the spare tire is out. All right, and now we have to remove this uh, shield over here. There's also the stool that just thrown right there randomly. Just gonna put it aside. Take this. I'm gonna put this up top here so we can lose it. Now our battery is right there. Let me see if I can show you guys. That's where our battery is, and I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the uh, ground cable with a 10 millimeter. So you just you open up this, uh, loosen up this bolt over here with a 10 millimeter, and then uh, you can remove this uh, 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 ground cable, wrap it around uh, uh, a towel or something, so that, that way it doesn't touch the body and closes a uh, closes a circuit, and uh, then we'll move on. All right. So once your battery is disconnected, uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, flathead over here. And I'm gonna start uh, opening the uh, air intake uh, hose over here that goes to the throttle body. Uh, before I do that though, let me go ahead and disconnect. Uh, actually, do we have to disconnect that? No, we don't have to disconnect that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the, start opening these here, these clamps. Okay, we got one on the side. We got the other one on the side. Mm -hmm. And we have a uh, 10 millimeter right here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but that's where the 10 millimeter is. We have to open that 10 millimeter and we should have a clamp right on top of the throttle body so let me show you with my uh so right there that's the clamp from the throttle body to the uh, intake hose so we have to open that clamp as well so i'm gonna go ahead and open that clamp i'll leave you guys with me to see where i can access it from right here it's right on top mm -hmm. we're just loosening it we're not opening it all the way or anything like that all right, perfect. Now we can go ahead and, okay, that's one, that's two. We have to open the 10 millimeter right there. And all of a sudden I lost all my 10 millimeters. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get that 10 millimeter here. All right, put this on the side, put this bolt on the side, and now we just have to lift up a little bit. Okay, from here, do we have any bolts? Okay, we do have two lines, uh, two airlines going over here. There's one going here. I think there's another one. No, this is the only one. So let me see if I can show you guys. Let me see if I can show you guys from the back the line I'm talking about. So the line I'm talking about is right there. It's this one right here. That's the one. So to do that, or to open that, I'm gonna grab my uh, pliers here. I'm gonna see if I can get in there. No. Then probably a pick. I'm gonna use a 90 degree pick, just like you see here. I'm gonna push on the tap from the top. Push on the tap from the bottom a little bit. And 
and kind of push the there we go there we go now it's loose all right let's see what we got to and i'm just gonna rock it back and forth oh we have these lines here so let's go ahead and remove that i'm gonna rock it back and forth there we go perfect now the uh, hose that i just opened i'm gonna show you exactly how i did that all right let's get you guys on the side here so you guys can see oh wow so our body oh wow the band went in the what look at that so that's exactly why our throttle body is demolished uh, i'm trying to understand where that band came from Oof, that is uh that is honestly very disturbing <laughs> i can't huh that's why our throttle body uh, has been trying to adjust but we couldn't adjust it but uh anyway that's exactly the reason for that so that band over there that metal band is over there that's what's causing our throttle body that's what's causing the car to have those codes while the throttle body uh was throwing codes on the engine control module now anyway let me go ahead and uh, remove that honestly i did not see that coming all the codes pointed to the let me grab something else i'm gonna grab my pick Now this makes sense now. This makes sense now why the throttle body was not working properly. We start the car and it's just like revving up and down, up and down, up and down, constantly, constantly revving up and down. Well, since we are here anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the uh, uh, throttle body. Uh, so basically we have one, two, three, four. So we have uh, four bolts that holds our throttle body and we have the connector right there up top. Let me see if I can show you. So our connector, our connector is right there. So if you guys could see it here. Our connector is right there. So you pull the red tab over there, you pull it in this direction, and then you push the tab and you pull the connector. And that's how the, uh, uh, that's how we just connect the connector on the throttle body. And then uh, the only thing left with the throttle body would be the uh, four bolts. Uh, I believe all of them are, uh, T25 or T13, let me double check for you. Yep, all of them are T30. This is what a T30 looks like. It's a torque bit uh, 30 uh, millimeters. So, torque bit 30, open all four screws. One, two, three, four. You disconnect the connector and then you can pull it from the top just like that. And that's how we remove uh, and replace the uh, throttle body. Now back to our original issue. Uh, I really can't figure out where this band came from. Uh, if I would guess, I know on some European cars, they put a band here in the middle. But let's see, this is like, I don't think this is a... Uh... Wow. Yeah, uh, I really can't tell where this, th where this uh, band came from. So anyway, uh, I'm guessing this will fix our code. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together and we're gonna rescan the car and I'll show you uh, what we're gonna do next. All right, you guys. So I checked, I just checked the book. I called the dealership just to kind of get an idea, see if there's like any bands that goes into the, uh, in the intake uh, uh, hose over here to the throttle body. They guaranteed me there is no metal whatsoever between the air boxes all the way over here. So with that being said, uh, I honestly have no idea what to tell my customer because I have never come across anything like this with these Range Rovers. Uh, now the three codes that I mentioned at the beginning, I want to just give a summary about them. Uh, if you do come across those three codes, those three codes usually point to two things. The first thing, uh, you have to do a calibration for the throttle body. If you have like an O-tail scanner or like a, a, a snap-on scanner, it's got to be a little bit advanced. So not the regular OBD, uh, trying to see if I can find my scanner to show you, but it's nowhere inside. Anyway, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not going to be like one of those small scanners, you know, like uh, uh, with buttons and whatnot. It's going to be like an advanced scanner, touch screen. I'm not promoting that or, you know, selling that for them, but I'll leave a, a, a link in the description for one of the scanners that can actually help you calibrate the throttle body on this. Uh, it's got to be, it's got to, it's got to be a scanner that 
operates or have hot functions as a feature in them. So you read the VIN number, uh, you access the car, you got diagnosis, you got hot functions, you got service, you got programming, you got coding. You're gonna have hot functions or service to be able to recalibrate the uh, throttle body. It's a very easy procedure if you have the right scanner for it. And uh, the second scenario, if the calibration does not do that for you, if the calibration does not fix that issue for you, then you replace the throttle body, like I said, you have the four screws, uh, uh, the T30 screws, you, you get those off, you got the connector on the side, on the driver side, you push the tab out, you push the tab on the connector, and you pull out the connector, and then you pick up, and then you lift off the throttle body from the top. Uh, other than that, uh, you can check, uh, uh, it could be, uh, it, it could also be, uh, one of the other reasons for that, those codes, could also be uh, electrical uh, issue. By that, I mean power is not going to throttle body, or the CAN bus is interrupted because of rodent damage or age or anything like that. So make sure you check your schematics before you replace any parts. Uh, make sure you, uh, if, you if, if you don't, if you uh, make sure you check your schematics before replacing any parts. Uh, if, the, if the wiring is good, uh, you're getting signal, you're getting uh, ground, you're getting voltage, you're getting uh, the uh, CAN communication can communication lines are sending signal and whatnot, then you move on to visual inspection, which is what we did. Uh, we opened up the, uh, as you saw, we opened up the uh, air intake hose. It wasn't really hard. Uh, you remove the air intake hose and you'll see it's our body right there. Now, in our scenario, we found that piece, which I still have no idea how could that have happened. Uh, but regardless, uh, if that doesn't work, if everything looks okay, uh, you know, if our throttle body is clean and whatnot, then the last step would be replacing the uh, throttle body. Other than that, this sums up the video for today. Uh, everyone, if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. And like always, make sure you like and follow for more.